Hi guys, welcome to the channel. We're at the Vienna Car Show at Škoda stand. Of course, the main star is this, the new generation of the Octavia. Now, first of all, the car sits on the MQB platform, so the same platform as the new Golf. It is, compared to the predecessor, it is around 90 millimeters longer and 15 millimeters wider. In terms of design, a lot of things changed. Now, first of all, they decided to ditch the controversial, you know, split headlight design that the facelifted Octavia had. And now we have this very, very nice LED lights, actually matrix LEDs as an option and LEDs, you know, as a standard. So very, very cool. Look at these daytime running LEDs. They look so nice. Tell me in the comments, what do you think about the design? A lot of people agree that this new Octavia looks much more classy than before and also a lot of people say that it reminds them of the new Superb so well, actually the facelifted Superb which is a good thing I think tell me in the comments what do you think about this trend that you know manufacturers you know create cars that are similar to each other and also tell me what do you think about design of the new Octavia from the front you do have this massive front grill which is connecting the matrix LEDs. You also have the additional small lights, daytime running, I believe, LEDs. So yeah, very elegant looking car, I think. Let me show you the car from this angle. This particular model sits on this very nice, I believe these are the yeah, 18 inch wheels. And let me show you the back of the car. So there you have it. Also very nice illumination on the rear lights, also LED as standard. You have the Škoda lettering, so they decided to lose the Škoda sign, the badge actually, and go for this, so the letters. What do you think about this trend? Now this is the trend with all new Volkswagen Group models. Golf has the similar thing, but on the new Golf they decided to keep the badge, but here you only have the Škoda letters. Of course, one of the main things why people buy Octavia is the practicality. And this car is very practical indeed. I mean, just look at this. It's even bigger than before. It's 600 liters. That is totally crazy. So look at this, 600 liters of storage space. You also have this some simply clever solutions as always in Škoda. Spare wheel is down there. You know, you have this for cargo, you know, so you don't, if you have one bag, you can just put it here so it, do, so it doesn't go all the way, you know, around the trunk. But yeah, basically huge amount of space. Definitely one of the main advantages of this car compared to all the other competitors on the market right now. So tell me guys, what do you think about the design? what do you think about the new Škoda Octavia and do you think maybe that it's better looking than the Volkswagen Passat that's gonna be an interesting one so tell me your thoughts and now we're gonna step inside and see the digital revolution which you know is going on there so let's check it out okay so let's step inside and see what Škoda has to offer here First of all, you are greeted with the Simply Clever solution. Now here is where you would put your umbrella. Of course, this is the car show, so they removed it, but this is where you can put the umbrella. So just like on the Rolls-Royce in a Škoda Octavia. Also, I love the design of these door panels. It looks very nice, but let's focus on the main thing, of course, the digitalization inside, new technology, new steering wheel, everything is new. So let's jump inside and let me show you all the details close the door so we have the piece we need and this is it so basically we have the digital cockpit in front of the driver which is optional thing so you can have the analog cluster of course I would recommend you to go for this one as it looks much much better in my opinion now you can choose between different views that you have here you will change them with this button here so look at this classic cluster minimal you know just the, your speed and some info about your drive probably great for night road trips and uh, you know stuff like that navigation screen very useful i believe you can also zoom in with the, yeah so with this button it's very convenient because you can zoom in and out very easily so for example when you are 
driving on unknown road on a road trip for example and you are coming towards intersection you can just you know do this and uh, you know zoom in your location so you know exactly where you need to turn so definitely a big plus from me for this one so navigation then here we have also the some of the assist probably that you have for the driver travel assist which uh, you know basically it's a semi-autonomous driving also available for this car this steering wheel is the next cool thing now immediately you will notice that it's a you know dual spoke two spoke steering wheel something that we are not used to seeing that often this reminds me of the older mercedes models i think so yeah tell me what do you think about it? when i saw the first photos i wasn't convinced but now you know sitting inside it is very very good in my opinion so yeah digital cockpit also here you have you know switches for your lights now here is the main thing so the big main screen this is uh, how it looks basically you can also control uh, various information that you can have here you can adjust it and uh, you know do it for yourself how do you want them so for example you probably have navigation in here instead of here so but yeah that is up to the owner and the driver to configure how they want to do it basically everything is here vehicle settings for example and then we go back to the menu let's see let's actually see the vehicle settings tire pressure service data for your trips then moving on we have the radio and media of course pairing your phone with uh, android auto or apple carplay whether you have the samsung or you know apple now here is your telephone shop so basically with all new cars there is an option of you know upgrading to some you know new features background lightning okay so this is cool let's try and see this so now it's blue oh okay so here is where you would probably get the light okay so this is where you would get actually the light so this is the ambient lightning i don't know if you, oh here you can see it okay so now it's changing so basically here's where you control various options available i will put it just like on my car on blue i think it looks the best so yeah this is very cool now the main screen is here as i said but the thing is how do you change the ac well you do have a process so you, first of all you press this klima that's basically your ac and now there you have it so touch screen touch screen for the temperature so i don't know do you like this do you think it's you know too much maybe i don't know i think i would love to have you know buttons for the ac and not you know to do it like this but yeah it is what it is tell me in the comments what do you think about the ac being on you know touch do you like this do you think it's better or do you prefer the regular you know buttons let's see this so start stop off this is where you would turn off the start stop so basically you just press this and then start stop off it is pretty similar uh, pretty you know easy driving modes of course the car, this car has the different driving modes available normal sport and individual more mode where you can configure everything so from the steering drive acc air condition everything can be controlled so big plus for this all right what do we have next so sound this one has the canton sound system with a lot of options in here also and navigation let's see how does that work we go to the map and there you have it just like it was on the digital cockpit 
pretty responsive and uh, yeah, let's see the design actually of the buildings all right yeah so there we have it 3d shape it is very cool so I accidentally locked the car so this is where you lock it indicators AC air vents are here now here is where you would charge your phone and it's a very you know big space so probably all phones can fit here let's see if we can actually charge it yes it is charging so great thing let's put this back in my pocket so I don't forget it here USB-C ports tell me what do you guys think about those now USB-C ports uh, if you have an iPhone you need an additional adapter so I'm not a huge fan of those but now let's focus on this so this is the gear lever for you know DSG dual clutch automatic transmission and I think it's so so cool I mean <laughs> it looks very very unusual it looks like the one on the new Porsche 911 992 but also the new Volkswagen Golf has pretty much the same one everything is controlled by wire so whether you are in drive neutral or reverse the position of this will be the same you will just have the indicator telling you where you are some other you know simply clever options two cup holders have the electronic parking brake out of hold now let me show you the new key so this is the new key for the Octavia I think it looks very elegant tell me guys what do you think about it and now moving on some storage space here but not not huge really and uh, you can also you know adjust this so this is a very very comfortable place to be the seats are also very nice and comfortable leather this is interesting cloth material I believe you can also have the Alcantara in here head-up display is also available let me show you the glove box not huge but decent amount but of course the trunk is huge as I already showed you you also have this additional storage space here so really really very practical car indeed and now I think it's time for me to show you how much space there is at the back because after all people buy this car because of its practicality and because of the space and the value for money that you get so I will adjust the front seat for myself and now uh, then I will go at the back to show you how much space there is I'm 1 meter 87 so let's see how does you know the back seat suits me all right so let's check it out now as you would expect on the new Octavia you have plenty of space for your knees also this is very cool so look at this like a dual storage space for example here you can put your mobile and then here some I don't know papers or something like that also let me show you how much I have for my head so really a lot and once again I'm 1 meter 87 so this is really a huge plus and definitely something that Škoda is really best at doing you know giving people you know additional value for money and uh, especially in terms of the practicality and the space inside so this is really really good let me show you how does you know this look from the you know back also ambient lights are here you have a very nice you know sunshade in here this is where you control the AC buttons are here this is cool so you do have the heated option of the heated rear seats once again two USB-C's not good for me as I have the iPhone so I would need adapter the view you have on the front is amazing and uh, look at this LED lights just touch them now this is really cool this feels really like a premium car and let me also show you here I didn't even notice them also very very nice okay. 
Speaking of the engines, the new Škoda Octavia will be offered with the various petrol and diesel engines, but also as a plug-in hybrid for the first time ever. This particular model is a diesel one. There will also be mild hybrid diesels, which means uh, these engines have the 48 volt electric system to be more you know, efficient and to have better performance. For the prices, not sure yet for the Octavia, but we have Octavia Combi here, which will also be on the channel. It starts from 29,730 euros. So probably this will be a few hundred euros less in my you know, opinion, something like that. And we will now see also the engine. It's got the hydraulic you know, system, unlike the Golf, which has mechanic. So look at this, hydraulic, everything. Diesel engine. And when you want to turn it down, shut it down, just like this, but you need to be stronger like this. Okay, so yeah. Tell me guys, what do you think about the new Škoda Octavia? Would you take this or Passat maybe? Even though maybe they're not in the same league uh, because of the platform and everything. But, you know, people who buy this kind of limousines, they, you know, look at all these cars. So tell me in the comments, what would you buy? What do you think about the design? Uh, what do you think about this new elegant look? Uh, do you maybe think it's too similar to the Superb? And uh, well, yeah, that's it. Do subscribe to the channel. This is coming also to the channel, so Octavia Combi and also all the other cars, as you can see, we're at the Vienna Car Show, so a lot of new things. You can see the new Golf 8 there. Everything will be on the channel, so hit that subscribe button and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.